welcome back. So today's video is going to be a massive Shein haul. It could be Shine. I'm going to say Shein for the whole video. So if that's not how you say it, oh well. Um, I spent about $350, I think it was. Um, and I got somewhere around 30 items, maybe 32. Three of them have not arrived yet. If I don't edit this before those three come, then I'll add those three on at the end. But um, so I just wanted to go ahead and state my measurements just in case you guys were like, curious or wanting to buy this clothing, just make sure you read the measurement charts on their website because I have many different sizes here because I read the size charts and guess what? Pretty much everything fits. So um, for me, I am about a 38 D, so 38. And then at the smallest part, I'm like 35 and my hips are like 41 or 43 if you count that lower belly. I am five foot two for reference. I have very chunky thighs, very chunky upper arms but I'm kind of small up here, um, and I don't have very big hips. Definitely have a booty, have wide calves, if that matters for you guys. Um, but yes, I am going to step back so you can see, I'm actually wearing four of the items. Um, and I live in Arizona where it is super warm. So here when I'm filming this in mid-September, I think it's like the highest 105 today. Um, so <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to wear these for a long time. And also you'll notice like this sweater isn't gonna keep you warm. <laughs> you see all those? holes but for phoenix that's amazing because we want to look like we're dressing for fall and winter even though it's still 85 out okay so the um first four items are a bodysuit a skirt a belt and a cardigan i decided to just do four all at once so you guys could see them um so let me tell you about them and just know that shein is super inexpensive but do not pay full price they often have specials for free shipping um, definitely free shipping with a minimum purchase. Like if you spend 49, you get free shipping. So never pay shipping. And I got 20% off my order plus 4% cash back on Ebates or Rakuten, however you say it. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. Just so you know, I'm a size 16 on a good day, 18 more realistically right now. Um, this is the plus pointel knit open front cardigan in black. I got the 1X, the 14, because of the reviews that it ran big. Uh, I have my notes here. So normally this is $24 with my desk count. I got it for $20.70. Um, but for, like I said, I'm 5'2", and it covers my butt and then some. And this is a size down from what I normally would buy if I wanted something true to size. And it totally overlaps, very oversized. Like I said, I have large arms. I have plenty of room here. So you could size down one or even two sizes if you wanted it to be like fitting perfectly. Um, and the shoulder seam is on the shoulder. I mentioned that because some of them I got the drop shoulder um, seam. This one is up on the shoulder and it has no buttons. It's an open front, but I could definitely put a, the belt on top of this, you know, to cinch it, but I kind of like the oversized look. So that is the first thing. Now let's go ahead and remove that so you guys can see. Um, let's do the bodysuit. This is the Shein Plus snakeskin print bodysuit and this was $18. So this was like one of the most expensive bodysuits, but snake print or animal print in general is like very common, popular right now, trendy, and I wanted this for myself. Um, and then just know that I got this one in a size up. So this is a 3X, and that's a size 18 by their size chart. So um, it is, as I said, I'm five foot two, so it is big in the arms, but like, honestly, here in Phoenix, I often will just slouch the arms anyway but I have plenty of room here. It is very stretchy um, and it is not tight. You see here, I have room. So I probably could have gone with a 2X in this. Um, it is a scoop neck, um, modest, and this is, like I said, a size up. So um, I like this and it is a full butt for the, um, the uh, bodysuit. And when I show you the skirt, I'll give you a little bit more of a glimpse of that. Um, but yeah, this was one of the most expensive things, I think, $18 um, for this bodysuit, but I really liked it. And I like that I can layer with it and I can tuck it in. I've been really wanting to tuck, but I have a kind of a bigger belly right now and a droopy thing going on. So also for reference, I am wearing um, the Soma Intimates uh, Retro Brief underwear and they have like a, a high waist. So when I pull them up all the way, they come all the way up to here, like above my belly button. And they have a tiny bit of like sucking in, uh, not Spanx level, but you know, tiny bit. And they are comfortable enough that I would wear them all day and not have to like 
like Spanx, where the moment you get home from that outing, you like take off the Spanx and put on something more comfortable. These are comfy enough, but anyway. So they do provide just a little bit of, tiny bit of shaping. Um, okay, so this belt is um, brown, and it actually comes as a long strip. And you're like, what do I do with this? But I did not buy this in the plus size section. This was just like a regular old accessory section. I was kind of nervous that a plus size woman would not fit in the standard size belt because this was kind of like a one size fits most sort of a deal. Um, I'm trying to find it on here. This is the faux leather belt in brown and it was normally $6. I got it for $5.17. I'm gonna get a little closer. So the brown tone I would say is kind of a medium brown. It's not orangey brown. It's not even like, you know, red brown or whatever that trendy like uh, pumpkin spicy um, chestnut kind of color that's really trendy right now that's not this mahogany or whatever it's just brown and it is faux leather it's got a shine to it anyway so what I did was it comes as this really long thing and super long like goes to the floor and then some like twice like probably at least 10 feet long maybe 12 feet um, so I was trying to decide if I wanted to like lace this in the front or lace this in the back, but I went ahead and did it so that that part was in the front. I crisscrossed it in the back. And then you could just do that and then tie like a big bow and leave it hanging. If you wanted to, you could do like, I don't know. So you have a lot of options. You could even just tie it in the back. But I wanted to wear a belt because this skirt has a stretch waist. So I wanted to show you that. I personally don't think this is super flat, like attractive. You know, this kind of like elastic waisty thing. So I always try, if I have that sort of a bottom, I try to put a belt on top of that to hide it. So that's why I put that belt on. Grab my notes. And the skirt is the plus um, button front denim A-line skirt. It is normally $21 and I got it for $12.94. I got it in a 2XL, which is, they say, a size 16, and these are faux buttons. They don't gape or anything. That was one of my pet peeves with another skirt I have that has a button front. They are actually sewn shut. So it looks like there are brown buttons. I'm going to lift it up so you guys can see better. But they are faux, and it is pretty long. I said I'm, like I said, I'm 5'2". I have it pulled up to the small of my waist, and it is going to my mid-calf. Duper long. Um, but yeah, if you're taller, this is great. If you're shorter, you may just, if you wore it on your hips especially, when I wear it low like this, it goes to my ankle. So if you were modest and you wanted to cover up the whole leg or if it was chilly out or you wanted to wear it with tights for warmth, you could totally have it as an ankle length skirt if you're petite. But if you are taller or wear it higher, it'll be more like a midi skirt. But I think this is gonna be super easy to throw on any of these bodysuits. So I'm gonna be throwing this on. I think I have eight bodysuits today. I'm gonna to be throwing this skirt back on. It's like a mid-tone denim. I figure it matches with all of them. So I wanted to mention this first so that as I put it on, if you see a denim skirt in this video, it's probably the same one. This is the bodysuit without a skirt on real quick. I just wanted to show you. Like I said, I am wearing my like Soma shaper panties. So it is pretty big. Um, like if you were, um, taller, <laughs> like you definitely have torso length here, but like I said, I probably would have sized down if I had known how loose it was, but I'm not going to return it. You can see here, like, it is showing, um, it's a little baggy. Okay, so if it looks different, it's been a couple of hours. I have another outfit on. I just wanted to show you a couple things. I also painted my nails. Long story. Had lunch, whatever. Um, one thing I forgot to tell you was I placed the order on September 11th and it said it was splitting into three parts. Part one shipped on the 14th, part two shipped on the 16th. <laughs> so I got one package like three days after I ordered or five days after I ordered. It originally said it would be 19 days from the day I placed the order till the day it arrived. But I've already received two out of the three shipments and we're only nine days out, 10 days out, whatever. So what I'm saying is even though they said on 9-11 when I ordered that it would not be here until September 30th, I think they were just covering their butts because I think all of it is scheduled to be here by like the 23rd. So anyway, okay, there's that note. I just wanted to mention that. 
Okay, so what I am wearing right now is the skirt is plus Dalmatian frill waist, frill waist flared skirt. This is in the shade green. It's a 2XL, which is a size 16, and I got it for $8.62. Um, so this is a 2XL, which is pretty much my standard size. I will give you guys a better shot in a second, but you can see the length. It is, I'm 5'2", and it hits the top of my knees. Um, I think it's really cute. It's uh, very wide, um, very flowy. Um, I don't think it's too short. I was actually scared when I took it out of the packaging and I was like, that looks a little short. But if I was to pull it like way up here, it still goes like four or five inches below my butt. So I'm okay. <laughs> um, anyway, I really like the fit on this. It again has the elastic waist, but on this it almost looks like those paper bag shorts, you know, because it has like this little bit of, um, I don't know, trim on the top of the elastic that kind of looks intentional. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then this bodysuit is the Shein Plus Size Flutter Sleeve Solid Bodysuit in Black. And this is a 3XL, which is a size 18, and it was $8.62. Um, so I'll get a little closer. It has a seam right here um, under the bust. And I'm a 38D, and I do not even close to fill out the, thir uh, the size 18. Um, the sleeves on me come a little above the elbow, but I like that. It has a lot of length. If you lift the arm, you will see, like, your entire bra. <laughs> so, that's just something to note if you want to wear a cami under it. Um, but the body of it, again, is not tight. I'm going to pull down the skirt just a little. The body is not tight. It is very high cut, though, because I am five foot two. And lengthwise, like it's going way up here. So if you were like 5'10", you'd be stretching this part out. It would be very high. Um, I have plenty of room. It's not um, tight on the back. Like I have, for reference, like that's me. And it's there. So yeah, I have a lot of room. The fabric feels very stretchy. Um, it's not too low cut. I feel like bodysuits have a like a reputation for being um, tight and you know hard to pee in and all these things but like I just wanted to be able to tuck my tops and I'm not good at tucking and I have a pooch you know I have this little like baby gut thing going on and I just I like the idea of a bodysuit because it's like effortless and I'm chasing kids all day you know I love the wings because I have bigger arms and the plus dual pocket open front cardigan in dark green. I got it in the 2XL, the size 16. It is $25 normally and I got it for $21.66. So these cardigans are all between like $20 and $30 normally. Um, so again, this is a 2XL 16, which is like my true size. And you'll see very, very floppy wings, very long. Um, so you definitely can like slouch it. I could totally have sized down. You can roll them, you can do whatever. Um, a 16 can totally, totally overlap and wrap and, you know, so I could have sized down probably even two sizes. It um, does have two pockets here, as you'll see. Um, it is long. It has slits on the sides though, so um, the back covers just about the end of my butt, but the slits come up to like the hip. Um, which I like. If you have bigger hips, you'll probably appreciate that. Um, let's see. You know, it's got the two pockets, and they're actually at a good height. Like, they'll, they're big enough to fit your phone. They're not, like, awkward where they're, like, up here. <laughs> and they're not going to be swinging down and hitting your legs, you know, as you walk. They're kind of, like, right at that sweet spot. Like, this is my belly button, and they're, you know, between belly button and, like, the top of my thigh. So they're perfect height for me at 5'2". Um, there is... <laughs> It's a very open knit, you know, you can see through it. Um, it does not have buttons down the center, by the way. And it has this like exposed seam and the drop shoulder. Again, there's no seam on the shoulder, like right up here where you would expect one, like by where your bra is or whatever. The actual seam is mid upper arm. So you may not like that. And it has kind of like an exposed seam. Like that's not inside out, that's how it's supposed to be. 
but yeah it's already cuffed for you so it already looks like this but I could not wear it like this because it's too long so for me I'd probably like roll it a few times and just for my weather here I'd probably roll it anyway but I like it um, I think that I probably def I definitely could have gone down to size and still liked it so two items are this cardigan is the plus size drop shoulder rib knit split hem cardigan so Shein plus drop shoulder split hem rib knit cardigan in the 2xl which is a 16 it's normally 19 dollars and i got it for 16.39 and this is the shade pink it does have the split hem like it said the drop shoulder just means the seam for the shoulders down here not at the top of the shoulder the color is pink it is a lightweight knit you can see through it um, it does not have any buttons on it which i don't mind because I don't need them um, and I am wearing a dress under that I'll tell you about in a second but as far as fit goes this is the 16 again the sleeves are too long I do not mind that I could have sized down no problem but I don't mind the oversizedness and it also does you know overlap in the front so like I said I could have gone down goes right to the bottom of my butt and this is this the true to size so um, but again, I'm only 5'2". If you were like 8 inches taller than me, <laughs> you might have different experience. And then this dress, I'm going to take this off, is the Plus V-neck Button Front Dress Dark Green. It's a 2XL 16. It's normally $16. I got it for $13.80. And these are faux buttons all the way down. They do not pucker. They don't buckle. Um, and the sleeves are just a little above the elbow, which I like. It's not very low cut, it's modest, covers the bra and then a couple inches up here, so I like that. Um, it does have this seam here, a couple inches below my bust and a couple inches below my, above my belly button. And I definitely could belt this. Um, okay. Like this is just a random belt I have, but like this. And my belt is too big to wear up this high. Okay, I normally wear it on my hips, but you kind of get the idea. Um, and lengthwise, again, I said I am five foot two, but it comes to the knee. It's like right at the knee, right slightly above the knee. So if you're a little taller, be shorter. Um, but yeah, I really like this dress. It is cottony. It's A-line, so it does not cling to the thighs, doesn't have pockets. Um, the buttons go all the way down to the bottom, basically, but they're fake, so who cares? Um, but yeah, I really like this one. I think it is loosey-goosey enough that if you wanted to wear it with tights and booties, you totally could. And also, it's tight enough that if you wanted to wear it with an oversized cardigan, you totally could. Size floral surplice, surplice front bishop sleeve bodysuit in black floral and it's normally $12 I got it for $10.35 and it is a 3XL or an 18 so this thing is huge <laughs> it does not have a clasp here or like any kind of a closure or a optional button um, that I can find so if you really just left it you'll be looking like this but I'm not going to, um, but yeah, this is a 3X. I should have gotten my true size and not sized up. Um, but what is interesting is this is a bodysuit. It looks like a blouse. So if you were to pair this with like a pair of black dress pants and a camisole or um, even jeans, it looks like you tried a lot harder than you did. So I'm gonna like try to do a little tuck. These are uh, Lane Bryant uh, size 16 like jeans. Uh, but anyway, what is interesting about this is like the sleeves are super flowy, but the bottom half of this bodysuit is solid black. See? So it kind of looks like you tucked in your solid black bodysuit. But again, I have extra fabric here, so I should not have sized up. This is one of the pieces that I would actually consider um, returning for a smaller size. I'm not sure if I will, but it was cheap. And I really like it. I think it dresses up a pair of jeans nicely. This is fake hair. So it said brunette or like brown hair. Um, it is a jaw clip, which is already busted by the way. And it's red, like I have brown hair. This is like red. So this was super affordable. I think it was $5 and I got it for like four something, 
never gonna wear it. I'll probably just let my three-year-old play with it <laughs> whenever she wants to be a princess or whatever. That is the ponytail extension with claw. $5 in brown for $4.31. Okay. And then this is a mask. Um, it was a 10 pack um, and it came in all solids. And I really like them. They were very affordable. I think they were around a buck a piece, something like that. Um, they are white on one side and then a solid color on the back. And they have a black adjustable strap. Um, they do kind of go up at the nose and they have a pocket for a, an optional filter and they're adjustable so I think they are pretty good um, they're wrinkled right now but yeah I like these in a 10 pack so I can have one to match every outfit and then this was a three pack for like a buck a mask and I just love the colors um, they are also adjustable because they have ties so um, I tied it for fun on my three-year-old's face the other night, but I could make it bigger for myself. I like the ribbons. I think they're really cute. Um, and the three-pack was, where did I put it? Um, lavender, cream, and tan. So it was $4.31 for three masks. Not bad. Okay. And then I'm going to throw in a cardigan on top of this. This color was interesting. I could not put my finger on it on the website. Like different pictures looked like a different shade and I wasn't quite sure. Um, it said like pastel burnt orange. And I was like, how is that even a thing? Burnt orange to me means like orange, right? But they nailed it. Like that is the name of this color, I swear. It is orange, kind of pinky, kind of brownish. Um, and it's light, so I see why they call it pastel. It's a weird color. Uh, <laughs> But anyway, this one is plus open front drop shoulder cardigan. 2XL, a size 16. It's normally $18, I got it for $15.52. So again, sleeves are too long, I don't mind that. Um, I think it matches like this kind of color in the shirt really well, just wish I had a pin right here. Um, but yeah, it um, does overlap. This one is different though, it is not long. Do you see how short it is? It doesn't even like go to the top of my pockets on my jeans. So this one is different length wise, but I liked having a variety. Um, it's cozy. It's so soft. It does not have the split hem right here, like the V. So this one is different, but still open front, no buttons. And it does have the drop shoulder. So I like this one. Very cozy, very soft. The three items. So. Um, the first thing you're obviously seeing is this cardigan. This is the Shein Plus Button Up Long Line Cardigan in brown in a 2XL size 16. Normally $28. It was $24.15. Okay, so big difference. This one has buttons. This one is long lined. Um, so those are like the key differences. The other ones are all open front. And also this one has the shoulder seam at the shoulder, not a drop shoulder. There is no split hem on the side does not come with belt loops or a belt um, but yeah so this is again long sleeves don't mind it actually kind of like it you could probably get away with wearing this as a dress there are buttons they do kind of pucker but it's not too tight they just they overlap enough that i think even puckering would be okay so i, I do have it with a bodysuit and jeans underneath for the sake of trying on a lot of stuff, but let's just, let's just see what happens here. If I do this belt that I got, not sure that this is the belt I would choose, but could I wear this as a dress? Yeah, I think so. But you can also wear it open, which I probably will do most of the time. Um, yeah, it is a nice reddish brown, like that chestnut color that's really common right now, really popular. And I am sitting here painstakingly unbuckling every single button um, for you. There are like, I don't know, 10 of them. They're black buttons with a brown sweater. So I think that gives you a lot of versatility. But I actually really like this outfit where I have a bodysuit on that maybe is, you know, gonna show back fat and all those things that when we're feeling kind of um, loaded or something. You have an oversized cardigan that 
feels really cute. So I really like this cardigan. I like that the sleeves are baggy. I could have sized down, but I'm glad I didn't because now I have versatility of buttoning it or not buttoning it. I think this would look really cute over that green dress that I just had on. And I like that it has black buttons with the brown sweater. I'm getting into mixing brown and black. I never thought I would do that, but anyway. So that's the first item. Okay, so these are the same jeans as before, not from Shein, they're Lane Bryant. This bodysuit is different than the others, okay? This is a solid V-neck skinny bodysuit in olive, and it was normally $13. I got it for $10.35. It's a 3X, a size 18. So it says in the name, skinny. So I, I sized up to the 3X instead of the 2X, which would probably be my um, true size. Um, I, I do have enough room in the sleeve, so I'm glad I went ahead and got the 3X. It's not tight. I definitely have some bagginess, but I could have gone down the size. But guys, I just want to say, this is the 3X. It is low cut and very short in the body. I'll show you in a second. I'll unbutton my pants so you can see what I'm talking about. And I am five foot two. Guys, it's so low cut, right? So then you're like, I know, I'll just pull it up. No, you can't. Because if you pull it up, you get the most high leg ever, high cut, and it gives you like the most massive wedgie. So these are regular like underwear. So this is how narrow the butt is. And the high leg comes so high. And then total complete body length issues. And I'm short and I sized up. So this is a do not recommend. Will I wear it? Yes, <laughs> because I will simply put pants on, you know, pull it up. I'll deal with the fact that the legs come up really high. Just tuck them in, wear them with high waist jeans, or whatever, and a cardigan on top, it's fine. I don't mind this much cleavage, you might. It's fine, but if you are tall, or if you have a long torso, definitely don't recommend. Even if you size up, it's gonna be too short. That is my thoughts on this one. And then the other item that I had on are these earrings. So these are like tortoise, tortoise shell, I think they're called, hoops. This is a six pack, I'm gonna grab them. These were part of a six pack. Um, very affordable, so obviously the ones I'm wearing were right here. They are cheap metal, obviously, for the price. I'll tell you the price in just a second. I wanna say this six pack was like um, under $5. Um, yeah, so this was six pairs pearl and tortoise shell, shell earrings and they say hoops they were like five bucks so very affordable um and i think that the tortoise shell is like kind of a nice pattern like this outfit if even with the brown sweater would have been very plain so if i'd done like a snakeskin belt or tortoise shell earrings and cute glasses or you know to mix it up a little that would have been really cute and then as far as the sleeve width goes i'm glad i got a size up because these would have been too small too tight um, but this bodysuit feels cheap, feels ill-fitting. I probably should return it, but I won't. A couple more items on to show you. Now, I put my hair up so you guys could see the back of this. It's very, very cute. Um, okay, so this is the, the Shein Plus V-Back Scallop Edge Solid Bodysuit in Lavender. I got it in the 3XL, the 18, so I kind of sized up. It's $9. Normally, I got it for $6.90. Okay, it does not mention it's off the shoulders, and I did size up, so maybe if I got my true size, it would sit a little better on my shoulders. But what is interesting about this, so it does have the scalloped edges, which I think look really kind of classy right now. What I'm afraid of is that this feels so cheap that maybe when you wash it, they'll start like kind of doing this whole thing, but I can't say it will because I haven't seen that. I haven't washed any of this yet, um, but the back is very low so the sleeves again are too long which i can deal with because i can roll them i don't mind or like slouch them or whatever so i think this i was gonna say onesie can you tell i have kids um this bodysuit could go very sexy you know if you put it with like a little mini skirt or like high heels and made it like really you know date night or something or like you could wear it with a blazer on top with like or a long necklace and a jean jacket. Like it can be really versatile. And I, again, did get it in the 3X. Um, it's a little like 
awkward. Like the sleeves are still a little tight even though I sized up. And I feel like it's baggy in other areas. So, um, but yeah, it's really cute. Um, again, the sides, it's a little too short. And this is another pair of earrings from that six pack. Guys, these are horrible. They, I am what I would call a pro at putting on earrings. Like I can do it without looking in the mirror. I wear earrings every single day. It's not hard for me to get an earring through the earring hole. It's not like I have like scar or tissue or anything to get through. These took me a couple minutes because you're trying to hold on to them to get them through and the stupid beads keep moving. Um, and then the little like latchy thing in the back is like really annoying. So yeah, don't recommend that. I mentioned too, all the items come in these really nice kind of reusable ziploc -y bags. I really like these. Shein Plus Detail Scallop Edge Tee in white. I got it in the 2XL, the 16, and it was kind of pricey, $19 and something. These buttons are fake. Like there isn't even a separate piece of fabric. <laughs> they just like sewed some buttons down the center. Again, it has the scallop edge. I love the white. I think it looks really crisp and clean. It even has the scalloping on the hem of the shoulder, or the arms. It does come down to my elbow and there is like a seam and then the button, uh, the scallop detail on the elbow. So um, as far as length goes, the buttons only come down like three quarters of the way of the shirt. Like they probably could have put one more button here, but that's okay. Um, it isn't see-through, I would say. I'm wearing a nude bra in case that helps you guys kind of get an idea of the, how see-through it is. Um, it's not too low cut, definitely modest. I love the loosey goosey sleeves. I just think it gives the illusion that my arms are smaller than they are. And I'm gonna tuck it in just so you guys can kind of see what that would look like. Maybe do like a half tuck, I don't know, a side tuck, I'm not sure. That's why I want bodysuits, I don't tuck, it's weird. Okay, so that is another top, very affordable, like probably 15-ish dollars and not too sheer. You definitely could bear, pair this with a lot of things um, but I think it could benefit from wearing a camisole under it. They have it in different colors. So maybe the dark color with a dark brow would look really good on you. Another shirt for you. This is the Plus V-neck Space Dye Tee. Space Dye, D-Y-E, I have no idea why. Light gray in a 1XL, a size 14. This was $9.49 and then I got 20% off. So this is the 1X, a size 14. There is not really like a true like indent here for like your armholes, it's just very like I don't know, bat wingy, I guess. I like that, kind of like dolman sleeves. You can kind of wear it how you like. You can wear it, you know, high. You can wear it low, how you like. Um, this is really loose for a 14 or a 1X. Um, I did read the reviews, that's why I sized down. But I also got it in dark gray, and I swear they're different. So <laughs> let me show you, but this is the 1X. I love the sleeve length, comes to the elbow. The material is kind of unfinished the hems it's like barely finished so i'm worried that it'll ravel it's very lightweight this seems like it'd be good for like working out in or even sleeping in kind of like a loungewear tee so that last one was the 1x in light gray this is the 2x in dark gray i don't know they're different though the fabric on this one feels more cottony and that one felt more like exercise clothes fabric but i like the 2x too um Lengthwise, it is kind of rolling. I did try these on and it seems like it was like, not too tight, but it was rolling. Anyway, I think I might start sleeping in these. They're really comfy. Again, no like armholes. They're just kind of like bat wing or dolman style. Um, but yeah, you can wear it as low or as high as you want. It would be great for layering. Half tuck, no tuck. This is the Shein Plus V-neck puff sleeve bodysuit. And it is black. It has nice little lace trim here, the puff sleeves. I still don't know how I feel about them. I feel a little 1980s, but I did size up and got the 3X. Um, it feels good. This one is not tight. It's not too loose. The arm length is fine. I could still like shove the, shoulder, the, the arms up a little to like elbow length. Um, and yeah, it's ribbed. I really like this one. So this is, Probably the main reason I wanted to do this haul was I wanted a black shirt that would tuck in easily or a black bodysuit. So this is a wrap skirt. And if you have never had a true wrap, it's weird. Okay, so it just arrives and it's like this, almost like a sarong, right? You're like, oh, it's a, it's a pool cover up or something. But in the tie, or inside the waistband, there's like a tiny little slit that you could totally miss if you weren't looking for it. So anyway, 
So just put it around my waist. And then I take one of the ends of the tie through there. Harder than it looks probably. And then you have more of a real wrap skirt. So you have the two ties and you can tie it wherever you want. I have enough string that I can tie it in the back. I could do it in the front, I could do a bow, I could do whatever. So this one is the plus leopard print knot side wrap skirt in a 2XL of 16. It was $13, I got it for $11.21. Let me put my heels on, give you guys like an actual height shot. So 5'2 with four inch heels and it still comes to like just below the knee or mid calf. So if you were more petite, it's gonna be midi to calf length, uh, you know, ankle length, but if you're tall, this will be still below the knee. I think this is super cute. And I think it will be cute with even like a denim jacket or a cardigan on top. I think it's really cute. And I like that this skirt has tan, brown, and black, so you can really, so versatile. I'm starting to think of leopard more as a neutral. Like I never thought I would do that before this last year with like, like I could pair this with hot pink shoes and I would say that matches. <laughs> I could put it with burgundy shirt and I'd be like, yeah, that matches. You know, I never thought I would do that, but guess it's a trend that I hope will stick around a little while. Anyway, that's two more pieces. The fabric on this skirt does not feel like it's gonna wrinkle. It is not see-through, but you do get almost two full wraps of it on your body, so you wouldn't be able to see anyway. You don't need a slip or anything. So, I just have one item on really quickly. This is the Shein Plus V-neck Puff Sleeve Solid Body Suit in blue. I got this in a 4XL, a size 20, and it was $8.62. Okay. So I did size up to a 20, so kind of like a size to two sizes. And this thing is short. <laughs> um, I'm finding myself wanting to pull up to get more coverage up here, but then it's too tight down here. And though it's still too baggy, see what I mean? Like I couldn't size down because it'd be way shorter, but I can't size up because it's already kind of baggy. And I put this on and then went and did a couple of other things. So I got deodorant on it right here when I was putting it on over my head. But also, I found that the sleeves, which I'm still not sure about the puff, like I'm trying to be all modern and do the puff, I feel like I look like a linebacker, but the sleeves were like riding up. Like I was walking around, I had like one sleeve like this because I've been using my arm and I was like, that's weird. Um, and I do not wear sh shirts that are like cap sleeve or that show my arms. So like I would want to put a jacket on top of it, but then it's like the whole point of this solid blue plain thing is to showcase the arms, right? You want the puff. so. If I put a cardigan on, would it look stupid on top because it would have like all this extra bunching? I don't know. So I don't really recommend this one. It's very low cut, but again, I got a 4X. So if I had gotten my true size, maybe it would have fit me a little tighter here and like stayed put, but then I couldn't wear it because of the length. So it's a risk you take shopping online, but I'm still going to wear this. I think, I think I'm just going to have to like maybe unsnap the bodysuit and just like tuck the, you know, the body part into my pants and then get the top adjusted how I want it and then be fiddling with the sleeves all day. But I don't know that I would recommend. But yeah, like the 4X, guys, like is baggy. Like I have plenty of like extra fabric here, but it is so narrow. So I don't, I don't recommend this one. The Shein Plus Ruffle Trim Botanical Print Belted Dress in kind of a nudie brown floral. It is 2XL, a size 16. It was $23, I got it for $12. So it's a very affordable dress. Again, this is a 16, kind of like my true size. Um, and I would say like, I'm like a 16 slash 18, so I did not size up in this one, and it fits. It does fit, I like it, it flatters, it's fine. The only thing I will say is I have big arms, and these arms are tight. So you can't tell because all you see are these like fluffily, ruffly things and it doesn't look too small in the body. So I don't think, you know, somebody who didn't know how they felt would think these arms were too tight. Um, I'm going to tie this belt a little tighter so you can see the, the actual shape of it. But I can tell you that is too tight. <laughs> um, I'm trying to tie this a little bit more in the front so you guys can really see the shape of the dress. So it came with this belt. 
It is very high neck, so I am still breastfeeding like half the time, so I don't know that I'll be wearing this this week or next week, but as soon as I'm officially weaned, maybe I'd wear it like to an outing. Um, but yeah, it is, has a cute little keyhole like button thing in the back. Very modest, like this would be a good church dress. <laughs> um, and it is very roughly like the sleeves, but also the bottom. And uh, I think it, it does float away. It's a little bit on the short side. Now it's touching my legs. It just feels short because there's the seam for the ruffle. Hopefully you can see that. I don't particularly love my legs. So this would be one that like I would wear with tights and a cardigan or like, you know what I mean? Like it's just a little bit tight. I definitely could have worn the 18 and it would have been just fine, but I don't regret getting the 16 either. I am probably losing, you know, a little bit of weight here and there. Um, I'm trying, it's just coming off slow. So I put on one of the other masks from that set, just so you guys can see there's different colors. This is the gray one. They're kind of wrinkly. Hopefully they unwrinkle. Those are the adjustable 10 pack ones. Okay, so let's talk this cardigan. Um, this is plus button front drop shoulder cardigan in a 2XL 16 yellow, $22. I got it for $18.97. So this one does have buttons and the buttons are kind of a white with gold detailing. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so that kind of means you have to wear gold with it, in my opinion. Now people like mixing metals, it's just not me. This belt is black with silver, <laughs> whatever. Um, and this cardigan is not split M hem, so like there's no like V cut out here. It goes about mid butt on me. Um, and I did get it in my true size, the 2XL, so it's not oversized, but it's not undersized either. And I could button it just fine, no problem, but I don't think I would probably wear it that way. Um, yeah, I like it. I like the knit. It's a little bit heavier, I think, like closer knit fabrics than those other ones with like more holes that you could see through. Anyway, I just wore that same denim skirt, paired it with the belt. And then we have this um, onesie <laughs> bodysuit. This is the plus striped v-neck bodysuit, long sleeve, white and gray striped in a 3XL and 18. It was $13 and I got it for $11.21. So again, this is a size up, 13. I don't know about horizontal stripes, but I like that this is cotton. This is not one of those like, you know, stretchy fabrics that's gonna, you know, I just thought, I didn't want it tight if it was gonna be stripes. I didn't want it to like be wavy where I was curvy, you know? Stripes need to be like straight up and down or straight across. I don't want any like, you know? But anyway, um, it's not too low cut. I could have gone down a size, definitely. The sleeves, again, are too long, but no problem. I slouch them or I'll fold them, no big deal. I may use this as a layering piece. It's a light cotton, it will not wrinkle. Even if it does shrink, I'm fine with that. I have extra room. Um, I just wanna show you. Um, this one is baggy. It has more of, um, how do I put it? Kind of like a boy short bottom. Like it's not a high V. So you might actually prefer this kind if you think things are too short on you. This one runs a little long and it's baggy. It's baggy, but I like that because it won't look like I have to over like layer something on top of it, like a cardigan to cover if I want to sit, you know, I won't look so bad with back fat and all that. If it's just a little bit looser, like that olive green one, which is a little tighter, a little more form fitting. I feel like I would want to layer so that people wouldn't see like the skin tight thing when I sit down, it would kind of look like, you know, gross. But this one is baggy enough, but not too baggy to where I feel cute without layering. And it's light enough so that even in Phoenix, I can wear it and I love that it's neutral. So I did just want to say a few last minute things before I end this. Um, keep an eye on your purchase before you press submit. Make sure you're using Ebates or Rakuten, Rakuten, whatever. I got 4% cash back on there. So for me, that was $13. So that's free money. Sweet. Um, the other thing is sizing is weird. Make sure you check your charts. I got things from a 14 to a 20 and they all kind of sort of fit. Some were big, some were small, but like, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you read your measurements, take your measurements before you even start shopping. Um, they do have a general regular size line and that ends kind of 
small. Like if you're over a 14, you probably can't even get their size large, extra larges. I would just go into the Shein Curve because they are cut a little bit curvier. Some of the styles are very trendy, very young, very cheap, very on trend. So if you're not looking to invest a lot in something that is very trendy right now, then don't. You can get it at Shein, um, Shine, Shein, whatever and you can save some money there if you want to get something trendy that you're not sure will last more than one season this is your chance um the other thing is not everything on that site is returnable so i understand the fake hair is not returnable i understand that the face masks are not returnable but some of these things were not on like final clearance sale or whatever and they're not returnable don't forget to subscribe if you are new i put out content about lifestyle mommies clothing food prep even cleaning organization um, day in the life vlog stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye